use a B prime instead of B, where, where B prime is a, c the statement that if not just the kth thing is true, but you could assume that uh, everything previous to that is also true, if P1, P2, dot, 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 through PK is true, then P of K plus 1 is true. The principle of strong induction allows you to assume that everything up to the kth statement is true. You can see why that's equivalent, because if you showed that 1 is in the set, and, and then each successor of anything in the set is in the set, then that's, that's uh, the same as uh, uh, if you've shown up through k that this is true, then you have everything from 1 to k in the set already. Okay? So you're welcome to use the principle of strong induction uh, if you need to. Okay, let me make a few other comments about style when you're doing a proof by induction. So uh, it's customary when you're doing a proof by induction to warn the reader you're about to do a proof by induction. Okay, just like proofs by contradiction, you usually tell the reader. Uh, what do you think you want to tell a reader if you're doing proof by induction? Aside from the fact that it's an inductive proof, you might want to tell them what? what yeah, what you're inducting on, or in other words, what is the index that you are um, looking to make this induction argument hinge upon? So let me just mention some words about style. So uh, at the start, you basically should tell the reader it's a proof by induction. And you usually tell the reader what it's inducting on, by induction on, whatever. And what this means is um, you usually tell the, the variable that's the, 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 the index that it's, uh, the variable that's being inducted on. So in this case, we're inducting on n. Um, which um, what which uh, variable uh, serves as the index of a bunch of statements? You usually tell the reader that. Uh, the other thing is you usually separate out both these uh, these two hypotheses. What you're trying to establish them so that you can use the principle of induction. So you usually tell the reader that you're doing the base case and the inductive step. So um, you indicate, so you should um, uh, tell the reader when uh, you're doing both uh, A and B, the base case and the inductive step. And both of these terms, you should assume the reader knows what they mean. So often you might say the base case is, and you don't have to define base case. So star just means you can assume these terms are understood. For the mathematically literate reader, they will all have seen this. Okay. Okay, um, and it's helpful to, uh, when you're done, uh, remind the, the reader what the conclusion is. I'm realizing this might not be so visible there. Uh, remind the reader of the conclusion at the end, because these are sometimes long arguments. Uh, and you, you want them to, to realize, you know, summarize where you've been. Okay, let's do some examples. So here's an example. This is one of my favorite proofs by induction. Absolutely favorite. Some of you may have seen this as in, uh, sometimes it's done in the core classes here. Suppose I have a, um, a chessboard, board. 
So um, this is an 8 by 8 chessboard, but uh, in general, we're going to look at 2 to the n by 2 to the n chessboard. So every 2 to the n by 2 to the n chessboard, this is, let's say, 8 by 8 here. In this case, 8 by 8. That's a real chessboard, isn't it? Something can be done, I claim. So if I take a, a 2n by 2n chessboard with one square removed, so every 2 to the n by 2 to the n chessboard with one square removed can be tiled by L-shaped tiles, by, um, by figures that look like this one. Okay. L-shaped tiles. Hmm, okay, is that, is it really? Is that true? How would we show that? Well, here's the thing. If you're looking at this particular chessboard and, and I say uh, remove a square like here, so um, how would I tile the rest of it? Now, the thing about induction that's really amazing is the, the actual statement or statements you're trying to show, you might have no idea how to do it, right? No idea. But what's great about induction is often you don't need to have insight to do the problem, <laughs> right? Right, you're sort of replacing the fact that I need to have insight about some 8 by 8 board by the fact that I know if I can do a 4 by 4 board, I can do an 8 by 8 board, right? That's sort of the, the hope, right? Maybe I'm going to induct on N here if you have some induction. Okay, so um, let's just see that this is true. First of all, for um, the base case. Well, first let's decide what I'm going to induct on. N, good. So let's do proof, and we'll tell the reader by induction on N. Okay. Okay, so for the base case, so I'm just telling the reader, I'm doing the base case. Is it true that if I have a 2 to the 1 board by 2 to the 1 board with one tile removed, that it can be tiled by a, yes, okay, it should be evident, uh, a 2 by 2 board. Um, we, I'm not even going to write all this out, okay. We see that if you remove this one square, there are four cases, but they all kind of look like this one. Um, the statement holds. And uh, I'll just say as desired, because I'm reminding the reader this is really what I wanted to show. Okay? You, you could draw all four cases if you want. Okay? Or say by symmetry, right? Yes, Bonnie. Yeah, um, the question was, uh, doesn't, uh, does it matter that your base case starts with one or can it start with other things? And the answer is, yeah, it can start with other things. There was nothing special about one except that it was the least element of the subset that I wanted to show a bunch of things were true for, right? So if I, for instance, wanted to show that some statement holds for all statements bigger, uh, indexes bigger than 50, my base case would start at 50. Okay, if I wanted it to. Okay, good. That's the base case. I've done the base case. Hurrah. Okay, now, now the question is, if it's true for the kth case, can I show it's true for the k plus one case? So let's just look at our picture here. Here is, is the 8 by 8 board playing the role of the k plus 1th case or the kth case? k plus 1, that's what I'm trying to show, right? So if I know it's true for a 4 by 4 board, will that help me show it's true for the 8 by 8 board? So here's the, the other um, part of the, um, the, uh, 